Greetings code choppers. Welcome back to Code Chop, your hub for all programming things. Today we embark on a journey to explore .NET MAUI pages. Before we delve into different type of pages, let us understand what .NET MAUI pages are. So let us discuss what are .NET MAUI pages. .NET MAUI pages are the building blocks of your app's user interface. They define the structure and layout of the app providing a platform for your content and interactions. Let's head to Visual Studio and see how we can work with .NET MAUI pages. So let's open up your Visual Studio. Here we are going to make different things to know about the pages in .NET MAUI. And for it, we are going to create a new project. Select the .NET MAUI app template from this. Click on Next. We'll name it as Pages Demo. And click on Next. We'll use .NET 7 framework for this. Let's wait for a few seconds to get the project created. So we have already created our project. And the first thing we need to know is how we can work to assign the home page for our application. So for that, let's go to the solution explorer and go to this file app.xaml. So we have briefly gone through the project structure in our previous videos. If you have not gone through those videos, I would strongly recommend you to go through those videos first. So here we have app.xaml.cs file. In the constructor of app.xaml, here we are initializing the app shell as the main page of this application. So this one line is indicating that what will be the initial page of our application. If we do not want this app shell page to be the main page of the application, the only thing we need to do is we need to put some other page here. For example, if you want to have this main page.xaml as the initial page of your application, the only thing you have to do is replace this app.xaml with your main page. And that's it. So let's run the project and see how it behaves. I'll be running it on Android emulator. So let me start it. Before running that, you need to make sure you have the proper Android emulator installed on your device. If you have not installed the Android emulator, then you need to install it first before running it. So for that, the only thing you have to do is you have to click on create. It will start downloading the Android emulator for you. Once the Android emulator is downloaded, you can click on start to run the em emulator on your device. As you can see, now our Android emulator is up and running. So now we are good to start our project. So let's close the Android device manager now and click on run. So this will build the project into our Android emulator. Based on your system performance, it will take some time to execute. So here we go. Now we have our application being executed and running on our system. Now let's go ahead and discuss about different type of .NET MAUI pages available to us. There are several type of pages in .NET MAUI, each serving a specific purpose and use case. The different kind of pages available in .NET MAUI are content page, navigation page, flyout page, tapped page. Today, we'll start with the content page, which is also called a fundamental and versatile page type. Now, what is a content page? The content page is a fundamental type of page in .NET MAUI that provides a single scrollable area for content. In a content page, you can add various UI elements such as labels, buttons, images, and more to present information and create a user interface. Content page is highly flexible and it allows you to structure your app's content as per your requirement. So now let's head to Visual Studio and see how to work with content pages. Now, let us proceed to analyze the page type called content page. This type of page is a type of page that you are going to use the most when creating MAUI based applications. Since they are the ones that allow you to add layouts and different controls as part of the different pages. Even if we review main page file, we can see that this is precisely a content page. When you see this is content based, it is indicative that it will contain some content in it. For example, 
in this case it has many different elements inside it here the first element inside content page is a scroll view an important point to keep in mind with the content page type is that it can only contain one root level element in its hierarchy if you can see we have only one root level element in its hierarchy if we want to add some other element in this hierarchy let us suppose if we want to go ahead and add a grid element you can see that it has already started showing us some error which is the property content is set more than once so we need to make sure that we are adding only one element inside a content page now if you want to add your custom content page to the project so for that you have to right click on the project click on add a new item we'll show all templates click on dotnet maui you can see here we have different options related to dotnet maui so for content page either we can select this c sharp page or xaml page i prefer doing ui things with xaml so we will be selecting this dotnet maui content page xaml template let's name it as content page demo and click on add so here we go now we have a content page created for us if you can see unlike the initial project the content page has less content the hierarchy of this element contains a vertical stack layout and inside the stack layout we have a label control inside it so once we have created a content page now if you want to add this page as your initial page so what you have to do is you have to again go back to your app.xaml.cs file and here instead of main page we'll call our content page that's it so now if we go ahead and run the project let's see how it displays now yes so as now you can see the application has been launched and our content page is shown as the initial page after load because we have set it this up in this app.xaml.cs file let's go back to the page which we have created and you can confirm that this is the content which we have created in content page which is being displayed in the emulator now so we can also modify the different properties of the emulator so if you have if you want to have so just to have a proper visibility so that this emulator doesn't goes away when i click outside you can do some settings here just click on settings and enable this option emulator always on top this will keep my emulator always on top so if you want to make any changes to any properties of this page so you can do so let us suppose if you want to change the background color of this to let us say red just click it and you can see it is being reflected here with the power of xaml hot, hot reload so let's change it back to normal this looks better so this is all that we are going to see of the content page type for now and in our upcoming videos we'll intensively use these pages to create content so before wrapping up this video i wanted to discuss about the advantages of content page with you so let's go ahead and see the advantages so let us discuss some advantages that content page provide us some key advantages of using content pages include easy and flexible content layout so we can modify content layout inside content pages based on our requirements so it is flexible enough to make any kind of layout changes inside it smooth scrolling for better user experience so it also provide us different kind of elements like scroll views which provide us a better scrolling experience for users adaptability for various screen sizes and orientations so we can design our content page to make it adaptable for different kind of screen size and orientations so that it may work well on different kind of mobile devices these advantages make content page a great choice for displaying a variety of content in your .net maui app so that's a brief introduction about the content page in our upcoming videos we'll explore the navigation page flyout page and tabbed page so make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave a comment below see you in the next video we'll dive deeper into the navigation page